Wolves defended well for the most part against Newcastle, and didn't concede a single big chance during the game, but a mistake by Rui Patricio saw the hosts lose their clean sheet in the 56th minute. Mark Noble's penalty saw Crystal Palace lose the clean sheet, and Aaron Wambasaka came off the bench to replace Marcus Rashford, who was seemingly given a rest ahead of Man United's midweek Champions League clash with PSG. Liverpool secured a comfortable 3-0 win over Bournemouth, but Alexander-Arnold only made an appearance off the bench, following his return from injury. Sayed Kalasanak was heading for a big points return against Huddersfield, with a clean sheet, assist and maximum bonus points on the cards, right up until he scored an own goal in the 93rd minute, taking his score right back down to just two points. The move to bring in Hyung min Son for Leroy Sané paid off, with the Spurs midfielder scoring for a third successive game week, while Sané failed to make an appearance. Paul Pogba scored twice from two efforts on target in the 3-0 win over Fulham, while Mo Salah found his 17th league goal of the season against Bournemouth, and no player took more than his three shots on target during game week 26, matched by only Zaha and Aguero. Eden Hazard was Chelsea's most creative player against Man City, producing three attempted assists, and no teammate took more than his two efforts from inside the box. But Richarlison failed to take a single shot during Everton's narrow defeat to Watford. Despite failing to find a return, no player took more shots inside the box than Raul Jimenez during the game week, with his six efforts matching Wilfred Zaha's tally. The Mexico international also missed a big chance, with an expected goal score of 0.8. So it was another frustrating game week, and with no Aguero, no Sterling, and no Andy Robertson, a score of 52 points sees a big red arrow down to outside the top 100,000. The good news is that we've now got a mini break from FPL, with the fifth round of the FA Cup taking place this weekend. Those results will determine which teams have their Game Week 31 matches postponed, so it's a good idea to hold on to your free transfers for the time being.